Hello everyone. Welcome to Ecoholics YouTube channel. So in today's video, we would be discussing about a previous year question from the IIT JAM exam which was conducted in 2023. The question number is 7. Here you go. Which of the following are the direct instruments exercised by the Reserve Bank of India to control the money supply? So it's direct instruments by the Reserve Bank of India to control the money supply, right? So if you had looked at it, this is a very direct question regarding the monetary policy instruments. So under monetary policy instruments, definitely you would have come across CRR, SLR, OMO, Open Market Operations, LAF, of course bank rates. So LAF is where repo and reverse repo, MSS, MSF, market stabilization scheme, right? So all these are instruments, different instruments to control the money supply which is exercised by the Reserve Bank of India. So here if you are looked at it, cash reserve ratio is present, open market operations is present, statutory liquidity ratio is present. So 1, 2, 4. But what about this foreign exchange rate? So at the first place, if you have looked at the given options, you have only combination of 3 as answers, right? It can be 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, like that, a combination of only 3. So as we know, 1, 2, 4 is already there, it's present. B is the correct answer. But you should also know if foreign exchange rate is any way relevant for the question that is being given here. So foreign exchange rate is not directly relevant in with respect to controlling the money supply because here you are trying to talk about an exchange rate between the two currency, a domestic currency and the foreign currency, right? So this has nothing to do with controlling the money supply directly, right? So Reserve Bank of India will not be using foreign exchange rate as a direct instrument because this is not an instrument in the first place, okay? So then foreign exchange rate is not an instrument. So this is not being done. And to control the money supply directly, no. But yes, it has some connections with the Reserve Bank of India, you know, managed float on a fixed float fixed exchange rate regime or managed float exchange rate regime, right? So then we are eliminating 3. So wherever 3 is present, please do eliminate. So obviously the remaining answer would be B, right? Would be B. So it's a very easy question. So that's about it. If you are understood, please do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.